Elon Musk was born into a simple family in Pretoria, South Africa. He graduated from high school and then university with a bachelor's degree, but studying was not of interest to him. He dreamed of the development of space and artificial intelligence with which he closely connected his life. Elon Musk is one of the richest people in the world today, but as a child he was an ugly duckling. He was not loved at school, which is why little Elon had difficulty communicating with his peers. In the biography of the mosque, there is constant mockery and even a fall from the stairs that led to hospitalization. Over time, the kid learned to fight back against offenders. Elon loved the dream and immersed himself in his own thoughts so much that he often didn't pay attention to what was happening around him. Concerned parents seriously considered the fact that the child has hearing problems. They thought the detached appearance was frightening and the lack of reaction to communication became a serious ground for diagnosing congenital deafness. The parents' fears turned out to be in vain. The little boy who loved to dream so much that he didn't always pay attention to worldly problems enrolling in Canada and studied at Queen's University in Ontario when he was only two years old. After that, he independently transferred to the University of Pennsylvania in the USA. Like star entrepreneur Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg, Musk still has a higher education. He received a bachelor's degree. Elon also enrolled in a master's program at Stanford University. The course took only 48 hours. Musk realized that there was no point in wasting time. The internet is a great prospect. He wanted to start his own business as soon as possible. Musk has always known how to get what he wants. At the age of 12, his first salary was $500. It is not worthy that he did not work anywhere. How did it happen? Musk developed a computer game which he successfully sold after the work was completed. More serious fees appeared later when the businessman became one of the creators of the PayPal electronic payment system. The company was successfully bought out by eBay for $1.5 billion. Today, Elon Musk is the epitome of status and wealth, but he only creates a review in the biography of a billionaire. There have been cases of frivolous spending of money. It is not worthy that Musk did not do this in order to buy something interesting. In most cases, multi-million dollar spending was made in order to prove their coolness to other people. So after the sale of his first Zip2 company, Elon immediately acquired a McLaren phone spending a million dollars on it. The car did not last long, only a year, and was damaged in an accident. It is not worthy. That this also happened due to boasting to the founder of PayPal, Peter Thiel, Ellen likes to appeal with different words. A businessman owns several businesses, and not all of them are related to automotive and space topics. Musk owns a drilling company called The Boring Company. Notably, its name doesn't translate as drilling company, but rather as boring company, so said the founder himself. And his tape and is firmly rooted in everyday life few people know but the marvel hero tony stark was created as a superhero image of elon musk the businessman became the real prototype for iron man elon musk personally met tony stark robert downey jr their meeting in a sequence happened for a reason the actor gets into character as much as possible the meeting of the businessman at iron man made it possible to establish close contact why mask everything is simple the businessman like iron man was fond of building rockets worked with artificial intelligence, and wanted to save the Earth. Few people know that Elon Musk is a member of the Given Pledge organization. Its participants are big businessmen, including Mark Zuckerberg and Vladimir Putani. Entrepreneurs are ready to give half of their wealth to charity, but in what direction assistance is provided is not specified. And it is not worthy that the organization has no legal status as well as an official accounts. Every obligation is exclusively moral in Tesla's own company where Elon Musk is CEO and chief engineer, and his salary is just $1. This fact is truly amazing. Either the interpreter is not worried about his income at all, or he has certain financial schemes. It remains only to guess. As has been repeatedly mentioned, space and artificial intelligence are not the main activities of Elon Musk. The interpreter is actively invested in the development of the educational sector, and the project he has is always unusual, a school for gigs called to the stars. The idea of forming such a project came from the famous Hogwarts school. The institution doesn't have the usual school curriculum education of children. When while building the tallest and most powerful spacecraft in the world, most people will be so consumed that everything else can wait. But that is not the kind of person Elon Musk is or what he is building. The Starship, the pinnacle of rocket design before thinking billionaire CEO is already working on the next version of the Starship. How large and powerful is the Starship 2.0? What does it offer? 
and why does must need it the Starship 2.0 is finally happening, and we bring you other juicy details. If you plan to take people from this planet to another planet, you need to put a lot of things in place. This is the situation Musk is in as he fired up to set up a colony on the Red Planet. The most important aspect he needs to work out is transport. The Earth and planet Mars are millions of miles apart, and he needs to get people there alive in the fastest way possible. Since this is a money-intensive operation, Musk has to find the most affordable way to move people between planets else. The project will be abandoned due to prohibitive costs. However, apart from humans, Musk has to transport tons of other things. Mars is a harsh environment, and to keep humans alive, Musk has to move lots of supplies in advance to complicate matters. Musk wants to move millions of volunteers in a short time so the new colony can sustain itself. That means transporting tons of food items, houses or shelters, building materials, drugs, and so forth. The logistics are overwhelming, but Musk is on top of the situation, frankly. There is no existing rocket that can handle all this without running up an enormous bill to fix the transportation angle. Musk has conceived the largest and most powerful spacecraft, the Starship, which the SpaceX crew is developing and testing at a rapid pace in Starbase SpaceX's facilities located in Boca Chica. The facility, apart from hosting the development of the Starship, is where all the workers live. I believe those who will travel on the rocket to Mars will be hosted there too, in addition to tourists who simply want to see the awesome power of a launch. Starbase is going to be a beehive of activity, the star attraction. However, is this starship that is huge and it stands 120 meters tall when the upper lower stages are assembled and is 9 meters in diameter in terms of power? The space industry has never seen anything like it powered by more than 30 rocket engines specifically designed by SpaceX. The Starbase is capable of lifting payloads of more than 100 metric tons into Earth orbit. The upper stage of the ship is the part that will go to deep space It has the capacity for 1,200 tons propellant so they can have enough fuel to reach its destination. The ship stands at a 50 stall with 18 meters of it dedicated to the payload. The total volume available for payloads is 1,100 meters cubed to meet Musk's needs. SpaceX will configure Starship as cargo, or the latter will transport humans, or the former will carry cargo. Only other configurations will act as fuel tanks. The Starship will be used for other purposes like clients such as NASA and the U.S. Army, but we won't go into that in this video. The lowest stage, or the Super Heavy Booster, is even taller at 17 meters, and it will carry 3,400 tons of propellant to help the ship escape the Earth's gravitational pull. It will produce a thrust of 72 meganewtons for both ships and Super Heavy are completely reusable, a feature Musk plans to use to reduce the cost of his scheme. However, reusability complicates the design of the Starship. Before we get into the Starship 2.0 proper with the size and power of the ship, many people will not see why version 2 is needed. But of course there is a need for a bigger Starship for instance. Launching a Starship and getting it ready to travel to Mars process will require four Starship tankers to fuel the Starship heading to Mars otherwise there won't be enough fuel to get there. This refueling means a lot of messing around with rendezvous docking, pumping, and undocking. However, a larger Starship 2.0 that can supply all the fuel will simplify things massively. In addition, if the Mars community must be self-sustaining, it needs the ability to build structures for itself. The easiest way to get that going is to ship heavy machinery. From the Earth, like iron ore excavators and steel mills with cauldrons and rolling mills, there will be other heavy items They cannot be divided up into 150-ton pieces that must find their way to Mars. When you start to think of things like this, you will see why Elon Musk is already thinking of an improved version of the Starship as revealed by Musk. The Starship 2.0 is larger than the first version by orders of magnitude, as he revealed it would be 18 meters in diameter, which is double the size of the current Starship. It is not surprising that Musk has aimed so high because the Starship was originally meant to be 12 meters in diameter. It was designed to launch 300 tons to orbit and 450 tons to Mars after refueling at the same dimension ratio as the current Starship. The Starship 2.0 is double that in height, making it a 240 meters tall hunk of steel. That would be three quarters of the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And when you double the height and width of an almost cylindrical object, you have multiplied the surface area and volume by eight. This means Starship 2.0 has eight times more capacity to hold fuel 
and will generate eight times as much thrust as its predecessor. Starship 2.0 will take 800 metric tons of payload into the Earth's orbit for this rocket to be this powerful. It requires about 100 The universe is vast and as many scientists say has no end. This is why they have continued exploring its marvels and observing everything around it. These explorations led by scientists and astronomers of various research teams worldwide have brought up the discoveries of dwarf planets, black holes, and a lot of strange phenomena even our galaxy. The Milky Way, which serves as the home to planet Earth, holds many mysteries yet to be seen, and some just being discovered. One such discovery is a huge object that was detected as it traveled through the Orion Nebula. What could this object be? How large is that object? What purpose does it serve? Join us as we explore how this NASA probe accidentally detected something huge traveling through the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula, also known as M42, was nebula found in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. This nebula has been so notable that even ancient cultures have talked about it or use it as a timeless piece throughout history. M42 is so clear it can be seen without the aid of a telescope. Not too long ago, astronomers discovered an amusing object while they were going through some photographs of the Orion Nebula. These photographs have been taken early as they were looking through the solar system across the Orion Nebula with the aid of a telescope. When the images were viewed, they noticed a large object shaped like a cigar that had never been seen before. This left them confused as it was not their first time exploring space and searching the night skies for nebulas. The astronomers then forwarded the image of this strange object to an extensive online database that gathers photographs and information regarding strange crafts witnessed all over the world. Unsurprisingly, this wasn't the first time amateur astronomers had sighted such objects as they recorded each sighting. They talked about their encounters with this object, especially noting the extraordinary length and how it does not match anything around the area where it was seen several times. Assumptions asking if this cigar shaped a comet or a problem could be the object with the camera used to take the image were brought forward by the astronomers who noticed this long object quickly. Debunk the myth that neither space nor time exist, neither debris nor comics have shown up like this in all their years of astrophotography. But if this long object is not space debris or a camera anomaly, some astronomers speculate on what it could be, suggested that the object could, in fact, be scattered all over the Milky Way galaxy, particularly in Orion's belt and at the same time. Others are saying the same thing. There might be other objects like this located at different places in our galaxy. Another group of scientists and astronomers came up with the idea that it could be a probe coming from a distant galaxy was sent to ours. But the truth is, we still don't know what this is all we've known for a long time. Object is that it has several unique features, but none resembles that of an asteroid or any form of space debris if assumption that the object could be. A probe sent from another planet just like the way we send probes from Earth by a piece of advanced technology probably made by a civilization living far away from ours. An idea that has kept some researchers driven to the edge of there. We have thousands of seats and excitement planets in our galaxy. So treating objects like this and keeping an open mind is what we should do. Especially when these objects do not correspond with familiar objects seen in space aside from unusual objects discovered in space and mysterious sounds can also heard recently about a NASA probe that has orbited traveling beyond it detected a mysterious plasma hum as it progressed into interstellar space. This discovery was made by the iconic Voyager 1 spacecraft that has spent over four dead decades in the solar system. It is now over 14 billion miles away from Earth. The Voyager 1 spacecraft has completed many missions in space, as it was the spacecraft that discovered lightning strikes in Jupiter's atmosphere. 